SwiftUI's navigation view places a bar at the top of our views, but it also does something else. It lets us create a stack of views we can push new ones onto. In fact, this is the most common form of navigation in iOS. You'll see it in places like the settings app, where you press general or Wi-Fi and a new view slides in. Or in the messages app, where you can tap someone's name to bring up their messages. Now this view stack system is very different from the sheets we've used previously. Yes, they both show some kind of new view, but the way they show them is very different. And that presentation affects the way the users think about them. Let's start by looking at some code so you can see for yourself. If we wrap out a fault text view with navigation view like this, and then give it a title like this, uh, Swift UI, we're gonna see our text is in the middle saying, hello world, with Swift UI in the top left corner, as you'd expect. And this thing, this text, hello world, that's just static text. It's not a button with any kind of action attached to it. We're gonna make it so that when the user presses on hello world, we present a new view. And that's done with another new view type called navigation link. You give this thing some kind of destination to work with, and then something inside it that can be tapped, and it'll take care of the rest for us. And one of the many things I love about SwiftUI is that we can use navigation link to push with any kind of destination view, including totally custom design views. Now show this thing, but also color.red or a simple text view saying placeholder or whatever. To try it out, we're gonna put around our text a navigation link. We'll pass this thing what to show when it's pressed, which in our case will be text detail view. And we'll make our text hello world the label for our navigation link, like that. And I'll move the title up to belong to the navigation link, uh, like that. There we go. Now run the code and see what you think. You should see hello world has gone blue. It's now a button. And tapping it will bring in a new view saying detail view. Even better, our previous Swift UI title animates down to the top left corner, become a back button. We can tap that, or we can swipe from left to right to go backwards like this. Boom. Probably easier in light mode, so you can see the edge of the screen more easily. <laughs> there we go. Boom. So, both sheet and navigation link allow us to show a new view different from the current one, pushed from the current one but the way they do so is different. And you should understand them carefully so you know which one to choose. Navigation link is for showing details about something. You're digging in to a topic based on the user's selection. On the other hand, sheet is for showing unrelated content like settings or a compose window. Now the most common place you will see navigation link is with a list. And there SwiftUI does something quite brilliant. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap some of our work here in a list, zero to 100, with a row number coming in like this. And I push this all inside that. And now I'll keep this detail text, we'll make it say detail for our row number. And the label will instead be row, row. And remove the padding like that. So now I've got a list of items. And when you run this back in your simulator, you should see all our items, all 100 items in fact, is here and can be scrolled around. But they have next to them these little indicators. They are inside uh, the scroll view, sorry, inside the navigation view. And so they have these little indicators on the right here, these little chevrons. And when you press on one of them, they will slide in the correct view for them. Now, these little chevrons, the little um, angle bracket things, that's a standard Swift UI, sorry, standard iOS way, sorry, of telling users another screen will be shown when one of these things is tapped, when one of these rows is tapped. And Swift UI is smart enough to know that's what should be used here. It'll adapt automatically. And if you're using a, an iPad with Swift UI, it won't show them. So it knows you aren't showing a new view, you're presenting in a split view normally left and right. It's very, very clever. And if these rows weren't navigation links, if we were removing just like all this jazz here, for example, the chevrons would go away because tapping them does nothing anymore. As you can see in my preview, no more chevrons. It understands 
They should only be shown when we'll navigate to a new screen when this thing is pressed.